Hello Capricorn, this is your reading for, <coughs> excuse me, the 7th through the 8th. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. I do personal readings, so if you guys would like one of those, please visit the website, pinkarianjim.com. And if you are unable to access that, especially on your cell, then um, feel free to email me at all for one that one for all seven four at gmail. Okay. So let's see what's going on for my Capricorns for today. Capricorn, what's going on for Capricorns today? Please show me. The Emperor standing in your power, feeling confident. Okay, I, I do feel though that there um, is still something lingering from the past that you guys um, not not concentrating on, but it's like you're on guard a little bit. Okay, Five of Wands. Hmm, something that you still think about. Um, maybe the fact that, you know, you and someone else just could not see eye to eye or somebody was not seeing things your way. Okay. Leo energy there. Now we have a Hierophant. I kind of feel like you and someone else, you guys are in your, your separate corners honestly um both of you are very strong very strong willed um you have your your varying viewpoints your your different ways of looking at things and doing things and i, I don't get that either one of you is willing to budge at this point okay that's taurus energy hmm. under the emperor we have death here you have four majors, no, three majors thus far. Um, a lot going on around you guys here, but there's there's somebody that is changing in this situation. There's something that's ending here. It's coming to a natural ending, uh, meaning that, you know, something is just not working. And so it's like, you know, why continue to focus on this? Um, it's not doing me any good. It's not serving my higher good for that matter. So, you know, just having to let things go and, and possibly even transforming some energy, um, transforming a situation, ending a certain situation, and maybe, you know, having a little give even, um, this emperor is, okay? There's something that, that is, that's going on with, um, I'm feeling strong Leo energy here. Hmm. Then we have the queen of swords under... The five of wands. Excuse me. Somebody's fighting change here. Somebody's fighting an ending as well. Hmm. Let me pull the other card for the Hierophant. Let's see what's going on here. And the Ace of Wands. What I'm getting here is, okay, there, there's like a Taurus, maybe Aries, Aries, Taurus, Cusp. Persons, you know, it's very strong willed. Um, but they also are somebody that I wouldn't necessarily call them stubborn. Um, they know exactly what they want. They know exactly what they will put up with, what they deserve. And that's just it. That's the bottom line. Actually, they know where to draw the line. Um, they don't allow people to cross their boundaries. And I feel like this person's starting something new. Um, this may be a teacher. This may be um, some sort of clergy. Um, maybe a counselor even. 
but this person is starting over. They're doing something that they feel very passionate about. The other individual, I feel like they're fighting change, but I feel like it's inevitable. Okay. Somebody is definitely fighting change. I do not see you anywhere, Capricorn. Honestly, I'm feeling like I'm feeling like more of your other elements are coming out here is what I'm getting that you are possibly dealing with. Um, a Leo individual, maybe even a Scorpio individual here. Okay. And I'm feeling like there may be, there may be somebody else involved in this situation with you guys, like a three party relationship. It does not have to, does not mean that it has to be an intimate third party relationship. But um, there's definitely someone here in between you and the other person that I feel like is fighting, is fighting an ending, is fighting um, change in this situation. Let's see who's coming towards you guys or what is coming towards you guys could be just an energy let's see what's coming towards you guys ten of pentacles committed relationship the ultimate commitment stability and the magician virgo energy virgo energy i feel is wanting like a commitment with you guys. They see a happy, stable home, family life with you guys, and they really want to make this happen. But I feel like there's somebody else here. It may even be two people here. Um, I'm, I'm getting like, I'm getting like, there's somebody that you guys are thinking about, maybe two people that you guys are thinking about, and then one of the other people, there's somebody else here that has an interest in them. Somebody that you have had a lot of, um, maybe you just don't see eye to eye. Maybe you guys are just very strong, um, very fiery. Could be a Leo that you guys are, that you don't see eye to eye with. Okay. Let me, let me get this straight. Let me, let me get this straight for you. Okay. What I see, I see a Leo individual that is fighting change that is looking back towards the past, okay? But there's an air sign individual, and I'm thinking Libra, possibly, um, that's fighting an ending. Maybe they're trying to end something with this person, but the other individual is fighting it. You, in the meantime, I see you moving on. I see you wanting to start over, okay? I see you doing your own damn thing, okay? Going towards your happiness. There's somebody else coming in for you that's not the Leo individual. I feel like Virgo, Gemini individual that is really wanting to make something happen with you, that sees a lot of potential with you. They're trying to figure out how they can make this happen. Okay, just to clarify, let's see why this is happening, why this is happening with the Virgo Gemini individual. Oh, wow. Four of Wands. They want to start over. They want to start over. They want to have stability with you. And this individual could very well be the same um, individual that has like Leo in their chart. They want to come out of conflict with you. 
They want to come out of conflict with you. But this person, they cannot, they're trying to figure out how to make this happen because they're, again, they're fighting change here. Very stubborn, I feel. But there's also another individual here that's fighting this ending because they're trying to end something with someone else. They want this. That's why the Ten of Pentacles and the Magician is showing up. Because they want to be happy with you. They want a relationship with you. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's see what this is. Five of Wands. <laughs> yeah. They are really trying to figure this shit out. Okay. All they know is they want to continue with you. They feel like you guys can do this. But they have to get their shit together is what I'm getting here. They have to end something here. But you have this, this queen of swords is like, mm, nope, you're not leaving me. Or nope, you're not doing this. Okay. At the same time, they're looking back at the past, which you can't see it because it's laying down here, but they're looking back at the past, okay? And they're fighting change, but at the same time, they do have their back turned to this five of wands, not wanting any more conflict here. And then we go over here with the four of wands, they're, they're trying to figure this shit out. Like, how can we move back to the Four of Wands? It's very stable energy here. And be happy. How can we get on the same accord? They're trying to figure out how you guys can get on the same accord and move forward. So you can have this Ten of Pentacles here. The Four and the Five of Wands, this is Nine of Wands. This is being able to pick yourself up and go forward. To get yourself together and say, hey, okay, yeah, we've been through some shit together. But guess what? We're going to push through this and we're going to move on and we're going to be good. This is what they're trying to figure out with this magician energy. But there is some change that needs to happen here. They're, they have a very stubborn energy. Okay. They want what they want. But I, I'm, I'm guessing that... Not guessing, but I'm thinking that there's there's something that they need to look inside of themselves for and um, spearhead some change. They're going to have to give a little. It's okay to be the hierophant, I feel, you know, and, and just stand your ground and draw, draw the line and have your boundaries established. But not to be so stubborn where, you know, you just want somebody to see your point of view, but you could give a shit if. If, if you ever saw theirs, you know, that sort of thing. So, um, again, we have Virgo, Gemini, Leo, Aries, um, Libra, I feel, Scorpio energies here, Taurus. Um, and that's about it, guys. So I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.